Hello everyone, this is our very quick update about the game I'm doing. We teach our roguelike game, which is a kind of game where all the map and everything is randomly generated every time you play it, and death is permanent and many other things. So the game is done completely by scratch using Rust, and that's why it looks very primitive. But everything, yeah, everything has been made, made by scratch, which actually I think it makes very funny. So the character is the add sign, and the G's here are the enemies. There is also like an O here, maybe, an O here, which is an orc. So there are goblins and orcs. Goblins have 1 HP and orcs have 2 HP. And there is also like the map that you can see and then the user interface. At the moment here it just gives some guidelines about how to play it, but in the future there will be some important information. And then here are the life and the HP and all that. So basically the idea is that you move your character one turn at a time and the enemies also move. The enemies now are moving randomly. In the next update they will follow the character or do something more interesting. So basically you move around the map exploring it and then you bump into the enemies and you kill them. So like I just, well sometimes they are difficult to kill but if you bump into them you kill them. Uh, yeah. And then if they attack you, like you can see that it was 15 at the beginning, like the HP maybe, now it's 14 meaning they attack me. So if the enemies attack you, your HP goes down by once and I'm, done, I'm just running into the walls, I'm not doing anything. So the enemy randomly is attacking me. Uh, let's see, oh no, I think I made it kill. Yeah, anyway, it went down two times. And then if I actually press the space, it's like resting, so the HP is going to go up, up by one. So yeah, everything is done by hand using Rust, which is very a lot of like low level coding, uh, quite interesting. And then the next features I'm going to do for the next update is going to just give some AI to the enemies so they move smartly around the map following you and things like that. And also implementing field of vision so instead of seeing the whole map you're only going to see like the part where your enemy is, sorry where the user is which makes it more interesting I think, you know, more, more strategical. And then also putting like an amulet randomly something so the so the player can go there and watch the you get the, the amulet. The game is finished. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess it's not very interesting, but it's actually been quite a lot of work. Anyway, see you.